You know, tools to me are what it's all about. We need to have tools in what I refer to as the spiritual toolbox. We need to fill that toolbox up with as many tools as we possibly can. Different tools resonate with different people. There are going to be situations where just simply doing affirmations. Affirmations are a great tool. And affirmations may be all that you might need for some small thing that is troubling you. And you take those affirmations and you put them in your spiritual toolbox. And you know whenever this small problem arises again, you can reach in that toolbox and you will have in there many affirmation tools, if you will. You can pull them out one at a time until you find the one that works. Sometimes it's meditation. Sometimes it's prayer work. There are many different things that we can use to, to move you out of a particular set of circumstances, a particular um, event, particular thought process. There's, there's I, really, there's lots and lots of tools. We go on for a long time. But there's, you know, one of the, one of the ones that I love is, to, is a forgiveness tool where we write a letter. We write a letter to someone who is a huge stumbling block in our lives and invariably when I do a workshop I'll mention the negative people the people who are always um, killing your dreams when you say I'm gonna do this you have this relative that always says get real get serious you're not gonna do that that's not gonna happen and invariably when I do a workshop I tell people that you need to eliminate those people from your life and someone will always raise their hand and say suppose it's your mom and that happens. And, and too often, out of, out of love and concern for us and wanting us to be happy and wanting us to, to lead a fulfilled life, our parents so often are the people who kill our dreams, are the people who set up these roadblocks for us where we feel that we're not enough, that we are never going to succeed because we just don't have the skills, the ability, the thought processes, whatever, unless we listen to what mom and dad said. So we get to a point in our lives where now, they have created a subconscious thought process for us where we never get past a certain point because mom's words hold us back. We develop resentments. We develop feelings of dislike for our own mother for what she has done for us. Sometimes those are subliminal. Sometimes they're right out front. The forgiveness tool I use is to write a letter to my mother. Write a letter and forgive her for everything she ever did that created a stumbling block or a negative thought in my head about my worthiness, about my ability. And in the end of that letter, then I make it a point to forgive myself for having dragged that thought process forward with me through my entire life and let it still affect me at this point in my life. Having done all that forgiveness, I then read the letter. I might have, if it were a client of mine, often I have them read the letter back to me one time, just so that they can have the experience of letting someone else hear it. But it's not a letter you have a mail. It's a letter you take out in the backyard with a lit candle, and you sit down in a cushion, and you make a little ceremony out of it, and you light that forgiveness letter on fire. And be very conscious of the idea that you are watching all of those negative thoughts, all of those stumbling blocks, all of those roadblocks go up in smoke. Reality is that as time goes by, those thoughts will occur to you again. But when they occur to you, now you have a tool. And the tool is, wait a minute, I already watched that go up in smoke. That's not part of my life anymore. And it's amazing how one statement like that can change your entire outlook. And the actual physical activity helps reinforce it, I presume. Absolutely. Anything that you do beyond the thought, Thought is, thought is important, obviously. Thought is causation. But you have to express your thought in order to make something, make something out of it that you're going to remember. Make something out of it that's going to create that neural net and reinforce that new neural net in your mind. That new neural connection, if you will, in your brain is reinforced by the expression of the thought.